In this video, we'll take a look at installing Garlic OS on the Ambernic RG35XX. I found that in other tutorials, there's a crucial step that's often missed. So I will highlight that in this tutorial and show you how you can get the OS up and running in no time at all. Let's get started. For this tutorial, you will need an SD card to go along with your Ambernic RG35XX. I don't recommend the ones that come with the system. They're cheap, generic ones that tend to fail. So instead, I would encourage you to invest in a name brand card. I'll be using a Samsung. SanDisk is another popular model. And I'll be using a 64 gig card because I don't plan on using very large ROM file sizes. But if you're going to be installing a lot of CD-based games like PlayStation, then you might want to invest in a bigger card. And we'll also need a way to connect the SD card to a computer. In this instance, I'll be using this USB adapter. I'm going to plug the SD card into the adapter and head on over to my computer. The next step is to gather and download all of the tools we need to install Garlic OS. First, we'll go to Black Serif's Patreon page. This is the developer of Garlic OS. Black Serif does fantastic work on a number of different handheld devices, so definitely consider supporting if possible. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and select this link to download the latest version of the OS. Next, we'll download Win32 Disk Imager. This program is what will write the OS image to the SD card. If you prefer, you can also use Belina Etcher which is another popular image flash tool. We also want to download and install 7-zip in order to unzip the OS image file. Also grab and install this program, Disk Genius. It will enable us to make some very important changes to our SD card after the Garlic OS image is written to the card. Now this last program is optional, SD Card Formatter. If you're using a new SD card, you don't need to format it. But if you're reusing an old card, you can use this app to format and prepare the card for flashing of the OS image. I'll be using a new SD card, so I'm not going to go over how to use this program, but it's pretty straightforward if you need to. And by the way, all the links for these programs will be in the description below. With all of the necessary tools downloaded and installed, let's get to work. Right click on the garlic OS zip file and extract it to a folder of your choice. I will be extracting mine to the desktop. Now we want to open Win32 Disk Imager. Be sure to triple check that you are writing to the correct drive letter of your SD card. I have more than once wiped the contents of an external hard drive because I didn't verify I was flashing to the SD card. So don't ruin your day and destroy all your data. <laughs> now we can click the folder icon and navigate to the location where you extracted the garlic OS image. Select it and then Click right, and this message is going to warn us one last time not to be a doofus. So if all looks good, go ahead and click yes. On my machine, it takes about two minutes to write the image to an SD card, so I'm going to fast forward through this part. After it's finished, if you receive any of these pop-ups asking you to format, just go ahead and cancel out of them. Now let's open Disk Genius. You're going to see all of the drives currently connected to your computer, but we want to focus on just one, and that's the SD card we just flashed, and specifically this last partition on the SD card. If there's no drive letter assigned to it, you'll want to right click on the partition and then select New Drive Letter. Take note of the drive letter in the menu because that's what will be assigned, and then click OK. Now, here is a crucial step. In other tutorials I've read and viewed online, most of them instruct to simply expand this partition at this point. I don't recommend doing that. 
Every time I've tried to simply expand this ROM's partition, I've had issues with Garlic OS at some point. In fact, Black Serif's specific instructions direct to delete and recreate the partition, not to expand it. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do. First though, uh, let's go to File Explorer and go to the drive that we just assigned the letter to. And we want to copy the contents of this driver partition to an easy to access location. I'm going to be copying them to my desktop. Now, back in Disk Genius, select the partition and then click Delete and confirm your selection. Now we want to click on this area up here that represents the free space on the SD card and then click New Partition. We can leave all these settings the same, but on the volume label, we want to give this partition the name ROMs and then click OK. Now click Save All and then Yes and then Yes again to verify the settings. Now we'll open up the newly created ROMs partition in File Explorer once again and we'll move those folders that we copied out right back over. So we're ready to start moving files over to the SD card. We'll start by putting the BIOS files in the BIOS folder. Now regarding BIOS files in Garlic OS, I've heard conflicting reports. Some have said that they're not necessary and your unit will run just fine without them, while others say that adding certain BIOS files will give better performance and results. Personally, I like to err on the side of caution and have added these listed files to the BIOS folder on my personal unit. I can't link these for you, but if you've ever Googled before, I don't think you'll have much trouble finding what you need. And so once you find these files, go ahead and drop them in the BIOS folder. Last but not least, you'll want to move your games into the ROMs folder. There are subfolders in here for each console and you need to make sure that you put the games into the correct folder. Some of the folder names are a little cryptic, so I will leave a link below to the Onion OS wiki. Garlic OS follows the same folder structure, so the wiki page will help you determine into which console folder to place your ROMs. I'm gonna move a few of my games over so I can show you the final result. Because Garlic OS is so simple and clean, its minimalist design really pairs well with the 3.5XX. It allows you to focus on what it's all about, enjoying retro games. If you're interested in purchasing an Ambernic RG35XX exactly as it was configured in this video with Garlic OS pre-installed on a Samsung 64 gig SD card, be sure to visit our eBay store. Link is in the description. That will wrap it up for this video. Until next time, happy gaming my friends.